Today does not have to be one of those days. At Freedom Boat Club, we make boating simple. Just sign up and meet us at the dock. Gain access to a fleet of boats and we'll take care of the rest. Contact Freedom Boat Club today. Your boat is waiting. Why are you? And now a story you saw first on seven allegations of inappropriate activity by the police chief of Miami-Dade schools. But despite those accusations, one agency says as far as they're concerned, the case is closed. 7's Adriana Hopkins is live in Miami with the update. Adriana. Charles Hurley faced several accusations, including sexual harassment and Baker acting students. Well, the complaints of Baker acting went to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and that agency says they will not pursue a criminal investigation. More than a week ago, Charles Hurley found himself removed from his position as Miami-Dade School's police chief and reassigned to a desk job at a district office. Among the accusations against him leading to that change... Fudging the stats, the criminal stats of the police department, and, um, and uh, instead of arresting juveniles, he's uh, been giving direction to Baker Act the children. A Baker Act happens when someone is determined to be mentally unstable and taken to a facility against their will. As far as I'm concerned, personally, that is a serious allegation. I, I find that uh, to be very disturbing to me. Okay. I've never seen an agency try to, to lower their criminal stats uh, by, by charging people with a Baker Act. Hurley also faces two sexual harassment claims. However, a spokesperson for the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has now released this statement. It reads, quote, After reviewing the complaint, it was determined the information did not justify a criminal investigation, end quote. And this response from a Miami-Dade County School spokesperson, it reads, quote, Key events have amplified the need for heightened awareness of school site counseling professionals, teachers, administrators, and school police officers regarding crisis intervention and the early warning signs of at-risk behaviors, which could lead to suicide, school violence, and or homicide. The FDLE's decision not to pursue an investigation into these claims speaks volumes about the importance of the work being done for the benefit of student safety. End quote. Spokesperson John Schuster says that key events which he referred to in his statement include deadly school shootings like the Columbine massacre. And while the school district's investigation continues, Hurley remains reassigned. And we did reach out to Charles Hurley. We have not heard back yet. And again, the school district's investigation is ongoing. Reporting live this morning in Miami, Adrian Hopkins today in Florida.